Hey, today I'd like to demonstrate a great exercise package which contains three different exercises and it's about how to combine the double beats with the single beats in one sticking combination. So, uh, you know when we play singles like this, or doubles, or paradiddle variations, we play with the right hand or with the left hand, but it's kind of rare when we play a double beat, just like a unison, in a sticking combination. Of course, we play uh, flams, but this is different. These are not flams, like this, but double beats just like a unison. So, the first exercise is simple, that's a triplet. And it looks like this, like double left right, double left right. Like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once again, it's not flam, not like this, or this is unison. The second one is a 16 notes, which uh, looks like double left, double right, double left, double right, double left, double right. So one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Right? The third one is a six tuplet, which is a six note oriented rhythm, as its name says. So it's double left, left, double right, right, double left, left, double right, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So not like, that would be a flam version, but that's a double beat. And one more thing, I play with both grips on the left hand, with the traditional and matched. If you play both, that could be an issue to find the best position of the snare drum, because when we play with the traditional grip, that's a totally different position in the left hand than when we play with the matched. Actually, this position is not the best to play match grip. So that's why I used to watch a lot of Tony Williams videos in the past, and I realized that he did a little compromise, which is, I think, a doable compromise. Like uh, he put a little bit away his elbow towards this way, and like this, he made a straight position from the elbow to the fingers. And like this, you can play with power and energy and there is no any strange position for the wrist because this position could be a little bit uncomfortable for the wrist because to play like this it's almost impossible to play with power and energy and you will f feel like uncomfortable uh, things here so that's why I do the same thing what Tony Williams did okay so we can play the three sticking combinations also with the match grip so the first Double left, right, double left, right, double left, right, double left, right. The second one is a 16 notes. Double left, double right, double left, double right. And the third one is a six tuplet. Double left, left, double right, right, double left, left, double right, right. So first we can practice these three sticking combinations separately, but then we can make a loop just like a chain and repeat it again. If I create a four bar phrase and uh, the first one would be the triplet, the second one is a 16 notes and the third one is a six tuplet. But I will play only 16 notes. So when I play the three note oriented rhythm and the six note oriented rhythm, that's gonna be a polyrhythm, like a three against four and six against four. 
So let me show it for you first in slow tempo, like one, two, three, and four, and bit faster. One, two, three, and four, and a bit more faster. One, two, three, and four, and We can practice the same thing, of course, with the traditional grip. One, two, three, four. Actually, this practice pad from Prologix is my most favorite one. This is the Blackout. The top surface has much less rebound than, for example, a, a normal snare drum. So this is great for the wrist to enlarge your power and energy. But if you put it upside down, that's also works great because uh, the other side has much bigger rebound. This is actually similar than a snare drum. You can practice the same exercises here using a little bit less wrist and a little bit more fingers. So that's also a great exercise for all the three sticking combinations. Of course, you can practice these three sticking combinations separately with the traditional grip as well. The second one. And the third one. Then you can combine it as a four bar phrase. Have enough practicing on this.